this is a video on how to get your camera's streams to record off of an NVR using the monitor that's attached to it. So here we've got a hike NVR, some NVRs are going to look different. Uh, this one right here, so what I've done is I've put a USB in the front, uh, I've got my mouse plugged into the USB in the back, so if you have a USB that's already being used in the front, there should be one on the back you could plug your USB drive into to download the footage. And this one's a hike NVR. There are other NVRs out there that are going to look different. There's another hike one up here that's a bigger one. You can kind of see there. Uh, this one right here has two USBs in the front. That's just a 32 channel instead of an 8 channel. But here's an 8 channel NVR. And then I've got a monitor here that's set up and I'm going to record video off of it and put it onto that flash drive. Okay, so now I've got my monitor with the view. Now we're going to record some footage off of these cameras. So I'm going to right click with my mouse and then select menu. And it may ask you to log in using a password. So just make sure that you know what the password is. Then once you've logged in, you're gonna have a couple of different um, options to record footage. Now it may look a little different than this, uh, just different NBRs, different models, different firmwares, but they all essentially do the same thing. So you're gonna be looking at playback and also export. Those are the two ones we're gonna use. So for playback, this is where you would go if you wanted to actually re review footage off of the NVR and you can just watch it. You don't have to record anything to anything, you can just watch it. So if I went to say the Southwest side and I can see here, these are red dates, they may be blue, um, but this means that they have footage on those days. If they're gray, that means it's already been recorded over or it's in the future. So if I wanted to select the 22nd, if I just double click it, it's gonna start playing from there. And you can see here, I only have a 30 minute window. So I've got a 30 minute, one hour, two hour, six hour, 12 hour, or 24 hours. So if I click on the six hour here, it's gonna now give me a six hour window. So I can go ahead and pull my scrub bar all the way over to uh, 555. And then you can see the traffic on the freeway going. So if I wanted to record a short clip, I could just hit this little um, scissors icon and then it starts recording a clip. So I'm gonna record about a five second clip. Then I'm gonna hit this to stop recording. And now it's stopped. So now that I've got a clip, I could go ahead and pull another camera, do another clip, pull another camera, do another clip, whatever I need to do. Once I'm done, if I hit this X button here, it's gonna say there's some video clips to be saved. You wanna save them now. So I hit yes, and then I'm gonna select my clip that I just did. And if you selected more, you could select all of them, hit export all or just export. And now it's gonna pull up your flash drive. And you can see I don't have a whole lot of room on here. Uh, rule of thumb is about um, for every one hour of footage on one camera that you want, plan on about one gig. So if you wanted 10 hours of footage total on 10 different cameras, then you could just plan on a 10 gig thumb drive and you should be fine. So now once I've got that, I can go ahead and hit export. It's gonna give me two options. I got the video and log, or I've got a player. Now I'm actually gonna to want to have the player and I'll do that later. But the reason I want the player is because the video format is not something that just plays on your regular Windows Media Player. Um, you do need a, a different video player that would actually play this format. Now, there are some out there. Uh, VLC Media Player I know plays them. Uh, for the most part but this one's a, a genuine hike player so that's why they want you to download it so you can pick which one you want i'm just going to do the video for now and i hit ok it's going to go ahead and export it once it's done it's going to tell me to push ok and now when i push ok it takes me all the way out so now if i wanted to do it the other way so i want to record more than just say a minute or five seconds or whatever i can go ahead and export and then i can say all right i want to pick um, this camera and then I'm gonna say, let's do continuous or motion. So that means it's only going to pick up clips if it detected motion, which is just pixel changes. Um, so I could say continuous, and then I'm gonna say, let's do um, D1 was my camera number. Uh, actually, let's do D5 instead. And then we're going to do the 22nd again. And we're gonna start this at 10 o'clock a.m. And then we're gonna say the 20 seconds still, which changed it already. So we'll go ahead and go back to 10. And I know I don't have a very big thumb drive, so I'm not going to save a whole big file. So we'll just do two minutes. Well, I guess, yeah, two minutes worth. Then I search it and it's gonna pull up all of the files for that time frame. So in two minutes, those are all the little clips that I have. So I've got quite a few, I got 42 clips and then it'll piece them all together. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit all and I'm gonna export all, and I'm going to put them on this. You can see there's my other file that I already did. So when I hit export, and I hit okay, it's going to export all of these. 
it says not enough space because I just have a very small drive. So let's go ahead and go back. And instead of all, we're just gonna do, you know, a few of these or whatever. And then export, export, Oops. And okay. And then it'll export those five clips for me. Still don't have enough space. So I have a very, very small thumb drive. But if you have a big enough thumb drive, you could export that whole thing and then they would all pop down here. You'd be able to have everything that you need. And then you can take that, put it on your computer, uh, do whatever you need to, and that would be it. Now also to get your video uh, player, you can also just click on the player here and hit okay. And it will go ahead and put the player on there. So now I'll have the player and I have the, uh, the file. So I got both of them right there. Uh, so now I'd have that to be able to put onto my computer as well so that I can actually play this file. Then once you're done, go ahead and unplug your jump drive and you're set.